Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Today we're going to make some tasty spring rolls. Let me talk you through the ingredients. We've got phyllo pastry, a packet of vegetable and bean sprout mix. We're going to have some black bean sauce, or you can have whatever kind of sauce you like. You have a sweet and sour sauce, or you can have a sweet chili sauce, entirely up to you. And we're also going to be using some soy sauce. Let's get started. So, this is how we're going to make the filling for our spring rolls. Step one, preheat two tablespoons of oil in a frying pan. A tip, when the oil runs like water, it is at cooking temperature. Step two, empty veg into pan and cook for three minutes. Keep stirring with a wooden spoon to avoid the vegetable sticking to the bottom of the pan. I'm just cooking the vegetables down now. It smells delicious already. Step three, add in some soy sauce and stir through. Step four, add in your black bean sauce or sauce of your choice. The final step is I'm going to add, I've added in my black bean sauce. I'm just going to let this cook out a little bit, let some of the liquid evaporate off, and then we're ready to go on to the next stage. Okay, so we've finished off our filling. Now I'm going to show you how we assemble our spring rolls. Now the first thing to note is that our filo pastry is very thin and it's very, very delicate. So to begin with, all I'm going to do is find the centre. Very carefully open it up. Now this dries off very quickly. Once it's dry, it's very, very difficult to work with. So we're going to work quite quickly. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get one sheet, usually quite thin, so we're going to fold them in half. So step one, fold the sheet in half, work quite quickly, and get some mixture. A lot of mixture. A spoonful. Then I'm going to fold over, fold the sides in, fold this side in, and then I'm going to roll. There you go. And place it. Should I do one more? So I'll get a sheet of little pastry, fold it in half. Spoonful of mixture. It's important not to overfill, that'll be difficult to roll up. Top part over. Sides in. Sides in. Place on the baking tray, seam side, down. I'm going to go ahead and make a few more. So I've rolled them all up. The final stage, and before I put them in the oven, is to just brush them with a bit of melted margarine or melted butter. This final stage is the only fat really apart from when we're cooking and not we can put it in. And it just helps uh, the pastry. Crisp up. Now, if you really wanted to, you could deep fry these. That also would work quite well. I mean, let's be honest, what doesn't taste better once you deep fry it? But for these ones, not the only help is going to brush them a little bit, a little bit of melted margarine or butter, and then 
we're just going to go ahead and bake them in the oven. And here we are, the finished product, our spring rolls. Let's look what we like inside. Nice and crispy, light, packed full of tasty vegetables. So, there we have it. Our spring rolls, tasty, light, packed full of vegetables, not a lot of fat involved, delicious. So, once again, thank you for joining us at Food Tech 101. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Go on, subscribe, press the button right now to be kept up to date with our latest videos. Food Tech 101 is now also on Facebook, so pop by and say hello. I'm also on Instagram, so you can follow along with anything that we're up to. My name is Mr. Lineberg, you can call me Sir. A thing we know.